when we switch off the CNC machine um, it remembers everything uh, almost everything it remembers uh, all things like programs so all your programs stay in there there's no need to worry about that your uh, parameters stay in all your offsets all your datums everything stays in so the few things that it forgets it forgets what current g-code it's on but obviously that doesn't matter because when you run a program it's going to pick that back up anyway so it'll have like a wake up state which is the g codes that it wakes up with active which you can set by parameter normally that's not of any worry at all it normally won't have a spindle speed so you probably have to program a spindle speed when you first start it up so you if you try and start some machines in the hand mode they won't start the spindle until you give it a speed um, but the main thing that it doesn't remember is where it is now this is not a problem because we pass the machine over these reference points so we reference the machine or zero return the machine when we first switch it on and this is the thing that tells the machine where it is so once it's passed over that point it knows exactly where it is and you can pick up everything where you left off the day before now you will get some machines some of the new machines and even some of the older machines that don't need this they've got what we call absolute encoders so they just you can switch them off and back on and it's just it's just like nothing ever happened um, but you probably won't have one of those you're more than likely going to have this so in this video it's a small Doosan lathe and I'm going to show you how to zero return it this is a live training video so it's one that was made um, when I'm out on my uh, dirty deeds um, training people um, that's uh, CNC training center that's me um, so if you want any training you know where to look uh, when you've watched this video you probably won't want any training anyway jokes aside um, hope you enjoy the video switch the machine on and wait for that to just do its thing okay and then you're going to switch the machine to zero return so you want the zero return mode do you want to do it uh, Kieran zero return mode Smart. Yeah. Yep, and then uh, we can move each axis using those. If you shut the door, it'll be a bit quicker. So shut yeah. the door. Always X yeah. first. Yeah. Mate, and that's that moving back. Yeah. I don't know what will happen if you put them rapids up. Will it, mate? Just take your finger off a sec. Oh, it's on its own anyway. Yes, it's running yeah. on its own. And do I do it's then do Z. Yeah, then do Z. Take your finger off. Oh, so okay. you can take your finger off and the, that flashes. Mm -hmm. Tell it it's on its way, and then when it gets there, uh, it'll stop, and that light will come on. Yeah. And that's all you need to do when you turn the machine on, and that's the only thing it just forgets. The other thing is, it will forget the spindle speed. Yeah. So what's not a bad idea to do now is put it in MDI. Um, MDI. Yep. And press program P R O G. Frog. Yeah. And I want to type in G97. G97 means I want yeah. RPM. Okay. G97. Yeah. S500. M3. Yeah. Yeah. Right. End of block. Okay. Insert that. So make sure your rapid's down, which it is. Yeah. Have a look inside your machine that you're happy with everything. Okay? Yeah. And then hit your cycle start down here. Yeah. And spindle start. Except the key switch is in the wrong place. Yeah, middle key switch over there. Yeah. And then it will start up. That's start your spindle. 